So it loads into here. There are two little spring pins that you have to engage and it drops down. Make sure that the ink is consistent. Remember how this oscillates? I also want to return uh, a lot of graphic designers now incorporate letterpress printing. There are a lot of companies that exclusively do letterpress printing now and it ranges from someone working with a press like this in their kitchen to large corporate letterpress companies that do printing for businesses all over the world. So this press was donated to Mirabeau College a number of years ago by a local printmaker. This press in particular is unique in that um, it's a very rare press and in fact I can't find any research on it, but I do know it was patented in May of 1873, so this was around the time of the turn of the century. This would have been a press probably geared more towards education departments because of its size. It is relatively portable compared to larger presses. I think there is a certain experience in being able to work with your hands, smelling solvents, working with ink and physically producing a press, there, there is a certain feeling of catharsis that comes from being able to work with your hands that removes letterpress printing from traditional applications such as newspapers and books and things like that. And it turns it into an art form and it allows for students and people in general to use this and approach letterpress in a different way. And kind of fill the need for being able to work with your hands that you just can't get with digital media.